Hey guys, today I am going to be doing a video on how to become pro at MMOs. Now, this is going to be a starter video for Star Wars, which is upcoming. And what I'm going to do is try to do a tutorial on how to increase your skill and your gameplay while leveling up through Star Wars. Now, I played WoW for years and what I'm going to do is just show you a couple of clips here in the background of a video I made probably about three years ago. When I was playing, you know, PvP at the, the high level of, of WoW that you could play. Now, this was back in TBC. Now, if you look closely, you see at the bottom, there's about 60 odd buttons there available. And I had them all bound to keys at one point, quite literally, 60 buttons. Now, it wasn't optimized. I mean, I had keys bound where I had to move my hand from my mouse across to my number pad and all sorts of things just to get the, the effect I wanted. Now, what I'm going to be doing now is when Star Wars kicks off, I'm going to be optimizing those keys to make it as easy as possible, but at the same time as it's quite advanced enough that you will be able to access all of your keys and all of your abilities on command when you need them. Uh, this will help you also remove the need to, you know, rely on keyboard turning, to rely on mouse back moving, stuff like that. Little things that might slow you down and help you become more competitive, more powerful in PvP and in PvE. So, what we're going to do is kick this off. Um, and we're going to focus primarily on your opening keys. Now, when you first get into the game, you'll obviously have one or two abilities. This is prevalent with nearly all MMOs. But in this case, in Star Wars, when you get in, you'll have your first two abilities. And they will very likely be bound to one and two on your keyboard. This is perfectly fine. The first thing you need to do is to, is to mindset yourself immediately into never using your mouse to click on those buttons. Never. Just throw that thought out altogether. So what you're going to do is you're going to start leveling up by just pressing one and two on your keyboard quite traditionally. It's very slow, very normal, but you know, it's, it's still a lot better than just clicking on it one and two all the time. Now what you'll do is as you level up, you'll get more abilities and more abilities. Now we're going to keep these optimized. Now you'll know your left hand in general is usually situated around W, A, S and D. Now when you look at the keyboard in general, you have the key left to your one, which is usually the tilde key, and then you have one, two, three, four, and five. These are all pretty much very easily accessible by your hand in a comfort zone. I think if you're you're trying to if you're I think in a binding something to six, I think you're just going to put strain on yourself later game because eventually you will move into using shift. Now, if you press, for example, on your keyboard shift A and six, now this is just the standard. You could be strifing around a character you're pressing a to move to the left and then you you need to press shift six or something if you actually do that now you'll find your hand is stretched across the keyboard and it, it can put a bit of a strain if you need to do it in a fast reaction and it's not ideal so we're going to focus on using those those six keys from tilde to, to five and then from there on we're going to implement from six seven eight nine ten or, or zero we're going to replace those keys with q e or and F. So that's six, seven, eight, and nine. And let's see what else you can do. For now, no, that's enough. That's enough for now. Q, E, or and F. Um, so you'll have these keys all accessible. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert your abilities into your, your bar and you're just gonna position them and you're only gonna practice with those for the first few levels. Now I don't know if you'll even have that many abilities by the time you reach level 10. For now guys, what we're going to do is you're just going to focus on those keys, you're going to use your WASD for movement, and you're going to use QE or F, and then tilde to 5. Now these keys in general, they're pretty straightforward, they're all within accessible, and you're not going to use your mouse at all. That'll be it for this video for now, we'll leave it at that, and thank you for watching guys, I hope this is a helpful starting tutorial. Keep an eye out for the next one, please subscribe so you can be updated on the videos, and I will see you next time.